With just over 13 months until the start of the World Cup in England, there's one place yet to be decided, and last weekend there were still four teams in with a chance of qualifying. The first of the repechage semi-finals featured the runners-up of the Asian Five Nations, Hong Kong, against hosts Uruguay. We have big expectations for the match. The players are in good shape and we've trained well. We're hoping everything goes to plan today because it's a match we have to win. I think we'll beat Hong Kong by doing what we do well, which is dominating in the scrum, which allows our backs to score. We need to make sure we secure all our own ball, because ball retention is very important. And finally, to have a solid defence, because that, along with our scrum, have been our greatest strengths. With just five places separating the sides in the world rankings, there was little chance of Uruguay underestimating their opponents. We've seen many of their games in the Asian Five Nations. They're a team that has plenty of pace because their side features a lot of sevens players. The advantage of sevens players is they are unpredictable. They try things like little chip kicks in their own half, but are equally comfortable kicking for possession. We will have to try and stop Hong Kong's dynamic style, and to do this we're planning on disrupting their set piece as much as possible in the hope that we can steal plenty of possession. The weather conditions favoured the home side. A downpour prior to kickoff produced a heavy pitch, which in turn helped the hosts gain ascendancy through the set piece. But despite their forward advantage, there was little separating the sides at half time, a Hong Kong penalty reducing the gap to just three points. The 26 hour journey to Montevideo began to take its toll on the visitors in the second period, fly half Felipe Bacchese scoring the game's first try. The 28-3 victory was sealed minutes later. Uruguay now turned their attention towards a two-legged repechage with Russia for the last place in Pool A. Fortunately, we managed to win this game, which was very important for us. We've worked hard for the last few years thinking about this match. We knew that this year we had potentially five massive fixtures. Two with the United States, which we unfortunately lost. This was the third, and now we move forward to the last two against Russia and hopefully a place in the World Cup. Today we can rest a little bit, but tomorrow we must set our minds on Russia. We must sharpen up, because today we were not that precise. Me with the kicking, the hooker in the lineouts, things that in tight games such as this one you can't afford to do badly. So we will have to work on that before our next match. And for some of the players, qualifying for England 2015 would be the realization of a long cherished dream. A World Cup is what every rugby player aims for. For me, it's the biggest achievement there is. And for a country as small as Uruguay, which doesn't have the biggest playing numbers, reaching a World Cup would be incredible. For me, it would be special because my father played at the World Cup in 1999 and then coached in 2003. And I've only heard good things from him despite the results on the field. So after all the stories I've heard, to play there would be a dream come true. Russia's 23-15 victory over Zimbabwe in the other semi-final was uncomfortably close. Driven on by a passionate home crowd, Russia started the match strongly, racing into an 8-0 lead. And it didn't take long for the hosts to score again, their pace and power unsettling Zimbabwe during the opening exchanges. But Zimbabwe's dogged determination, which has been a feature of their play throughout the qualifying process, was in evidence once again. Lambert Grunewald's try, reducing the half-time deficit to six points. Russia, on the other hand, have developed an uncanny knack of scoring at key moments, and their third try was enough to win the match. Zimbabwe hit back with another score, but it proved too little too late. 1991, their one and only World Cup appearance to date. <laughs>